All right, ladies and gentlemen, we back. Um, today, well, I guess it's the same day. I think I'm uploading twice today because the technical difficulties is over. I did one full compilation reaction earlier today, but now we've got to get nitty gritty in a specific game that I've been thinking about recently. My fault, I hit the mic. It was game seven. Um, Cavs versus Celtics back in 2008. Uh, just a crazy duel between LeBron and Paul Pierce. And I just, I just want to speak to LeBron's greatness in this video. They didn't win. Spoiler alert. LeBron and them didn't win. The, cat, the, the Celtics went on to, to the championship. But the highlights of this game, if I remember correctly, are ridiculous. One of the best game sevens I've watched with my eyes. But it's also been 12 years since I've seen it. Because I, I watched this game live. It's been 12 years since I've seen this game. So I just remember LeBron and Paul Pierce going at it. And this video has like 1.3 million views, so obviously a lot of people agree that this was just one of the best games ever. Um, obviously, look at the look at the Yadig. I mean, they had to be popping the firecrackers and everything, but they were guarding each other from for most of this game. Paul Pierce and LeBron, they were going back and forth, back and forth. There's no reason for LeBron to have this team in this series. Rondo is basically in his prime at this post at this part. Uh, Paul Pierce, obviously, he dropped 40 this game. He was he was in his prime basically. Um, and look, they're bringing this double team for a lot of the game because what the heck is Bill Wallace going to do on the offensive side of the ball? But um, this Celtics team was 10 times better than the Cavs on paper. But the fact that LeBron had them in the Game 7 in the Eastern Conference Finals just tells you how good this young LeBron James was. At this point, he's year 5, year 6 of his NBA career. And uh, yeah, you can just look at the, at the floor. It was just a, a way different basketball game back then. Because there's no spacer from either team. We got Kendrick Perkins and <laughs> Kendrick Perkins and KG on one side. Then we have Ben Wallace and Big Ilgowskis on the other side. And I don't want 2K to fool y'all. Ilgowskis could hit a three, but he wasn't shooting threes. We talking about a player that in 2K, his three-point rate would be up in the 90s in the my team. But in reality, he never attempted more than one three a game in his NBA career. You know what I'm saying? So he had the ability to, to sometimes hit him, but there was no spacing. And it was just... It's good bass. It's a, just a different time, and I feel like some of you younger viewers may not have seen these type of games. So here we are. Ben Wallace at this point is 33 years old. So you're like Kenny. Ben Wallace is good. At this point, Ben Wallace was not. I'm sorry. He was okay. I'm not gonna say he was bad. He was okay at this point. Um, definitely not the defensive player of the year player that uh, what he was in his prime. But look at this man, LeBron, man. He just didn't have much help, especially in this game seven. If I remember correctly. The second leader scorer in this series for this team was Wally Zerviak. Ooh, I don't remember that play. Jeez, get up, LeBron. Um, and I'm saying that like it's live. Like, I don't know if he got up or not. But the second leader scorer in this series for the Cavs was Wally Zerviak. And if I remember correctly, I don't think Wally Zerviak scored this game seven. Just didn't show up. And that's hard. That's, that's hard when your second leading scorer don't show up at all. Anyway. So it was literally the LeBron James show. I think he scored about 50% of the team points by himself. And you can see just how great he was. They're trapping him on the double. James Posey can't do anything. P.J. Brown is on this team. Bro, I forgot that P.J. Brown was on this team. Mm. Paul Pierce, though. I talked to about LeBron, but I got to talk about Paul Pierce in this game, man. I made a tweet yesterday saying that Paul Pierce was more athletic at 32 years old than he was at 19 year old. It was a joke, obviously, but like Paul Pierce was like fire wire. It just seemed like as long as he got, in the, like the longer he got in his career, um, he just got better and better until obviously everybody hit that point where they just start to decline. But I feel like at 30 plus, 30 years old, he was better than he had ever had been. In 2008, it's not much you can do about it. Talk about a player that can, that can dominate a game with very minimum athleticism. You know, and that's something to admire. That's something to admire. I know Paul Pierce is not one of the more talked about NBA stars. He's going to be a Hall of Famer, obviously. Um, but he had this skill set where, like, look at this man's body. He had a dad bod. The whole, basically, the whole entirety of his NBA career. And he was so methodic in the way he scored the ball. It didn't matter that he had a dad bod. It didn't matter that his vertical wasn't nothing. He just scored the ball effectively and efficiently. But here we go, the matchup. I think LeBron realized that Paul Pierce is just too too slow to keep up. You know what I'm saying? He just realized that he's too slow. And I think the largest lead for the Celtics in this game was like 15. But LeBron kept him in this game, man. Look at Paul. I don't know how he gets that open in a game seven where he already has like 20 points. But he did. You know what I'm saying? But he did. LeBron goes baseline on KG. We're talking about one of the greatest defenders of all time. Couldn't hang. 
Shout out to KG though. I I didn't like this team. I really liked Rondo. Man, I really like Rondo. And the more I rewatched a lot of these highlights since we're in quarantine, the more I realized how great Rondo was. Um, he had a game, game six of next year, 2009, against the Bulls. Was it game six? Maybe it was game four I'm thinking about. Um, ridiculous. The best player on the floor. Undoubtedly. And we're talking about we have Derrick Rose on the court. We have KG. We still have Paul Pierce, Ray Allen. But the best player on the court that game was Rondo. You know what? That wasn't game six because game six, I think, uh, I think Ray Allen had 50. So I think Ray Allen was the best player on the court that game. But a lot of those games, Rondo was the man. If it wasn't for Rondo in that series. You know what? KG wasn't in that series. My fault. KG was not in that series. Either way, back to this one. Hmm. What a take from, from the truth. How do they always end up in a stance? It's like the third time in this video. Oh, you, you, you saw that? I know y'all saw that. Hold on. Wally Zerviak, zero points, four fouls. That was basically your second leading score for this series. And he didn't put up a bucket. Dang. Imagine if he would have scored just a little bit, you know? And one. And one. And one. And you know what? Around this time of his NBA career, LeBron wasn't basically powering through people like he does nowadays. Um, you know what I'm saying? He used a lot more finesse. Good pass. Why is he so open? Shout out to Delonte West. Uh, I was going to make a joke, but I'm not going to. But he wasn't really bullying people back then like he does now. I think that's something he learned throughout his career. Like, literally, there's not many players in the NBA that can stop me from getting to the paint if I put my shoulder down. And then once he figured that out, it was the next level for LeBron, which is crazy to say because it's LeBron James. A next level for him? Yeah. Perfect time, man. Perfect. Perfectly bad uh, play from Kendrick Perkins. But it ended up in a three-pointer. K, K Perk should get that assist, man. Because if he don't make that terrible pass attempt, they don't get that three. LeBron, pull up jumper. Quiet than the crowd, man. They're down by four. They were basically trailing this entire, entire game, man. And shout out to the Celtics for keeping their foot on the on the necks of not letting them really get that lead ever. Paul Pierce off the screen, the midi. LeBron tried to contest it. But again, this is a very different basketball now in 2020. Nowadays, they don't want people taking those type of shots with the mid-range pull-up. He got 31 out of their 60. Come on, man. Come on, man. Paul Pierce is the truth, for real. But the mid-range jumper just wasn't a thing. And then at this point, LeBron wasn't really a good three-point shooter either. You hear him? He said that was LeBron's first three-pointer made in Boston. We're in a seven-game series. This is game four in Boston. And LeBron has hit this first three in game seven with five minutes to go. So they were just giving LeBron that much space the whole series. But we did see a lot of LeBron, you know, taking the mid-range more than anything. And then now we got coach like Coach Mike Brown's like, we got to bring the double to Paul Pierce because he's dominating whoever we throw at him. The Latte West, he's just too small to get a, a hand in the face. So LeBron tried to come with a double, but it was a little bit too late. Good deal, LeBron. Just knowing where he's at. 103 fast break. And one. <laughs> and one, bro. Pull up midi in his face. And then the three, the first three. Mm -mm -mm. That's a good defense. They brought, they brought the double. P.J. Brown. Ew, I don't remember his jump shot being that ugly. P.J. Brown. Ew. Got a little hitch in it, but he knocked it down. You can't complain with results, man. Good pass. Joe Smith, bro. Joe Smith played for like half the NBA teams. He was everywhere. Former first overall pick. Literally was a journeyman. Played for so many teams. I think he may be second in the league in most teams played for. Something crazy like that. LeBron. Delonte. Hey, I don't remember Delonte hitting as many big shots as he has. That's a big shot, man. That could have been a foul. Paul Pierce didn't get him that room to land. But here we are. End of the third quarter. They're still down. LeBron gets to the ba basket and fouled by P.J. That's a good foul. Good hard foul. But now it's a four-point game with 10 minutes left. Rondo in the dunker spot. Rondo in the dunker spot. <laughs> right place, right time. Six-point game. Six-point game. 35 for Paul Pierce at this point. Wow. Now we got the switch to get the 
KG on him. He like this matchup. Oh, James Posey shouldn't have came over, baby. Five point game. That's a great defense by LeBron. Paul Pierce is just on fire this game. It didn't matter. It did not matter, man. Let's go. Seven point game at this point. Seven minutes left. LeBron hits another one. Hits another one. That's a tough shot, bro. That quieted the crowd. They had a little momentum for Boston. Mm. Why am I watching this like I don't know the results? Like, I, it's, again, it's been 12 years since I've seen these live. Jesus Christ, Paul. Paul. Some tough shots, bro. Some tough shots for Paul Pierce's career. Andy Fisher, 13 from 22. Super efficient. LeBron, another three. Three-point game. Yes, bro. Yes, I'm telling you, this is one of the best game sevens that wasn't in the finals that I can remember. Just a good duel from two of the greatest. You know what I'm saying? So both of these players will go on to be in the Hall of Fame eventually. That's a tough shot, bro. Hmm. Third three of the game after not hitting any for the first three games in Boston. These are the situations where, like, I do not fault him for not making it to the finals this year because his roster, <laughs> this roster is not good. It's the LeBron James show. Sprinkling a little bit of Delonte West in game seven. But other than that, it's the LeBron James show. That's a tough shot, KG. Big ticket. Big ticket. And he talking trash. And he talking trash by releasing it. Big ticket for real. Shout out to Al's Highlight World. Appreciate appreciate the, the compilation, my G. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people do. This got 1.3 million views on YouTube right now. So a lot of people went back to watch this game because that's how important it was. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, what year is this? Yeah, Boston went on to win the championship. Boston went on to win the championship this year. Big, big steal. Great defense, man. Ryan Hollins on the bench and stuff. Get out of here, Ryan Hollins. One point game. One point game, baby. Eight, eight seconds left. But this is the moment. They need both of these free throws. He missed the first one. Down by six. 14 seconds left. Is that Sasha Pavlovich? Mm. Just, hey, you got to hit the shots. You know what I'm saying? You got the opportunity. Hit the shots. Paul Pierce. Oh, man. Oh, I don't remember that bounce. He's smiling at it because he know that's it. And that's pretty much that's the end of the game, man. LeBron did all he could. He did all he could, man. And they they so reliant on LeBron James. <laughs> they were so reliant on LeBron James. He got an offensive board and didn't look at any other player on the court but LeBron. It is what it is. I can imagine putting my team on my back that much. And that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Let me know of other specific games you want to see me react to. I see I see a couple right here that I... Oh, wow. PG versus... Yeah, it's a couple on this list that I would love to watch. So just let me know in the comment section. Peace.